want us to learn something small about the CPU, the, meaning the computer, the brain of the computer. So some of the components in it, it is, it is what it is. So I want us to learn some part of it more before we go to bed. So before that, this is the main CPU of open it. So take a look okay so before that let's let me previous this is the component all the components in it so how should I start where should I start how should how would I start okay um if, before we start we have something called hardix maybe some of you might not know it's in the system in which if you want to deal with the system units you have to know them so just follow my lead so this is the hardix this is the hardix the hard drive the main storage of the of the system units Have to remove because using only my one, one hand of my so mm -hmm. this is a hard ex. When somebody say hard ex, this is the hard ex of the system. Is Time we talk of the hard is the hard ex. Take a look. very good look at the hard ex. These are the teeth. So, this one is the data connector, and then this one is the power. Okay, okay. So, this kind of teeth is called SATA connector, like SATA connection. Okay, the SATA is power. S A T A SATA. Okay. Okay, so this is the SATA hard disk. I'll be taking you back to the old oldest one. Okay. As time goes on. So when you get the hard disk, how to check the capacity. You look if you can look closer. The capacity is written on it. Let's check it. There it is. Mm, it's 80 gig. Okay. 80 gig hard disk. So here is the capacity of the hard disk. Okay, so we mm, can only take things up to 80 gig, not more than that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the hard disk. Okay, let me put it back. Or well, let's put it somewhere else for now. Let's move on to another thing. Moving on to the RAMs. So, yeah, the RAMs. Let's just turn it. The RAMs of the RAM so let's bring back this whitish another one to other and bring it up yeah the RAM HP RAM okay let's check the capacity of the RAM too One gig. It's written there. One gig. Okay. One GB. I hope you can see it. That's the capacity of this RAM. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's put it somewhere. Okay. So now let's go to the ROM. We have RAM and then ROM. What is ROM? 
we have the room the room is anything that can store okay so we have the the hardest can be called as rom if i'm not mistaken the hardest is also a rom so and this this one here is called a cd rom cd rom so anytime you put cd inside inside this you can store things on the cd so it's called cd rom so let's take a look at it okay so this cable here is the same cable you can connect to the hard disk okay sata power cable it's not different from the hard disk cable the one we'll be learning them all okay as time goes on use the same cable you can connect for the hard disk it's also connect to the the rom cable okay the cd rom cable mm, so here they are we are learning things, we are learning stuff, small, small, okay. So, moving on, let's get something here so we can see this very one too. It's called a data cable, data cable here. Yeah. yeah, when the power, that very one, when this one is plugging, you power it, this one, and this one is powering. And this one to be taking data using this cable okay so this one the sata data cable okay mm -hmm. hope you can see it well now so here's the mouth like this okay take a good look at it okay <coughs> moving on then we go to the main room cd room i mean the cd room okay not the main one as such but the cd one let's try and take it off taking it off is hard yes i'm coming okay Taking it off is hard, but I've tried and it's coming out okay. So this how it look like. Okay. I hope most of you might be, might see this any any of this out there. You might not know the use of it. Okay. So here it is. This is what it is. So these are the written mm, nothing special like that. Okay, so what you should, you should know is this one is called DVD ROM drive. Okay, you have rewritable drives. A rewritable drive. Yeah, they do them. This one is the one. Right now, let me check. This, mm, this one it doesn't rewrite really anything. I should be reading them, but it doesn't rewrite. Really you have, you will have been, it will be, have been writing boldly or like rewritable. Rewritable, what it does is um, if you want to burn a CD or put something on an empty CD those kind of problem they will help you to put things on the cd okay it's not anything difficult so let's put it aside okay this one help us to read things that we have on our cd that was those days okay what else now let's go to the power pack power pack but we still have some of the rom the ram sorry the rams but we are not because we learn about one so it's not necessary for us to take all of them off okay so what are these let's learn about the power pack you see this thing here this thing this component 
to plug power into this place so this place here we plug in power this we slot the power cable into this thing for it to spark and start working okay mm -hmm. so this is called the power pack and unplug the cable so that you see it all unplug the cables from it so that you get it see what you have the cables can we identify them come really all of them is what you have this one separate some are 24 some two are 20 something like that. that's not so you have something like this but it's not all the time they should be the same okay but this very one is have something like this but almost all of them they have something like you always see something like this almost all the time almost all the time you see something like this okay mm -hmm. so this one this mouth here this one is for the cpu the central processing unit which is called processor okay with the ISIS, we do, we do call it processor. So bear in mind that when you hear processor, it's not anything difficult. We'll go there. Okay. And this one here gives the main board power. Okay. Mm. So the main board, this is the power for the main board. The whole board, like the whole board, the whole system board, this board. This is the main power. And this only this this very one it powers only the CPU the central processing unit here. And these ones they power the the ROM and the hard disk. Moving on, I was having problem with my cell phone too. Okay, so here we are. Oh my camera! Should I say my camera? Okay, here we are. I don't feel bad. Okay, so moving on. This thing here is called the BIOS. Hey, sorry, CMOS battery. It controls the BIOS. Okay, so the name of it is CMOS battery. I'm taking it off, you can take it off by pressing a metal there. Metal, this metal, pulling the metal backwards. Okay, my voice might be might be down. Okay. If you are not hearing me, don't check it. Okay. Um, so it's night, so I can't talk loud. Okay. So this battery here, uh, trying to pick it up. Okay. This battery here uh, um, controls the settings some kind of settings at a place we call BIOS okay so it controls time and date and then somehow password and some settings okay so taking it off sometimes when you on it you have to it will be prompting you unless you press F1 or F2 sometimes okay so replacing it all the time when it's low is the best so let's put it back so we technician that's our work we do service it and so anytime you see this battery that's what mm. this here this black slot here is the graphics card okay some of you might not know what graphics graphics card is but as time goes on we'll learn our graphics card okay mm. 
we'll learn our graphics card very soon okay mm -hmm. and then so this here is graphics card this one is called cpi okay cpi very soon we'll be learning our cpi too cpi can just be like any extra uh, um, should I say device or any extra let's just assume you want to you want a system should be having wireless network okay and then you don't have it in the system so here you can just buy wireless card and installing it for that's our work then we we'll have some kind of things we we'll store for you so that you'll be having wireless wireless network to connect to your Wi-Fi or you know, your phone. Mm -hmm. So this is the old type of the CPI, and then this one here is the new type. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if this one will be the 2.0, this one will be 3.0. Okay, going. Moving on. Then we have what we call um, the SATA, as we were, as I was saying, the SATA. This is a SATA port, okay. So these cables they are connected to, as they were connected. This is one of the armor. Okay. Mm -hmm. So don't be, don't be. Mm, excuse me. Hmm. Don't be stressed, okay? So everything is simple. If it have passed through the system at the back of it, you can see it. We have another passes here. So there it is. Two cables. So one is for the RAM and then one is for the CD ROM, okay? Like ROM and CD ROM, which means hard disk and then the CD ROM, okay? So when we proceed very soon, I'm going to teach you things stuff that we are going to be learning about the processor and then stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. the processor is here. We are going to be learning about when the PC is running slow. Why is it running slow? What can the processor or what can we do about the processor for it to run faster? Okay. We have something called thermal piece. We are going to be learning about those things, so stay tuned. Don't closer so that you can learn more. I'm trying training ITs. Okay, we will learn practically from where we were. So I don't have any problem with the practical side. People they write they, they read it in books, you know, not like that. Okay, so let's leave it for today let's leave the rest for in the night okay mm, if i made a mistake drop it drop my mistakes or if you know something about what i don't have been like well i couldn't hammer on drop in the comment section for me to do my mistakes or mm. so see you next time Mm, stay tuned i'll get back to you very soon will be this what we learned here we'll be moving it to the laptop board and learning more and more more more, more to know more about them okay so if you don't know more stay tuned okay bye 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 bye